Welcome back, I'm your Jake of All Trades. You'll probably notice that I'm using a different camera now. And the white balance is a little different. Things are in flux here in the studio. Anyway, today I've decided what I'm going to do is compare a bunch of these microphones that I have bought with my money. We've got a couple of large diaphragm condenser mics, a couple of small diaphragm condenser mics, and we have a dynamic microphone. Uh, I'm running them into the Moore Steep 2 audio interface, which I have received without payment from the Amazon Vine program for review. And part of this is I would like for you to tell me in the comments uh, what you think is the best sounding mic for my voice, because, well, you know, I'm pandering to you, the viewer. On with the testing. Neat Mics King B2. Features of the Moore Audio Steep 1 and Steep 2. Multi-platform audio interface with dual inputs and outputs. Supports up to 24-bit 192Hz high-resolution audio. Microphone line-in and high-impedance value instrument support. 48-volt phantom power available for condenser microphone. Zero latency direct monitor and DAW monitor can be adjusted individually or mixed. Switchable stereo mono direct monitor provides more possibilities for input signal monitor. Individual adjustment of monitor volume level and headphone output volume level. MIDI in, MIDI out, steep two only. Can be powered by via USB port or USB power supply. This is the Neat Mics King B2 into the Moore Steep 2 interface. The Neat Mics Worker B2 large diaphragm condenser microphone into the Moore Steep 2, and I will be reading the features of the Moore Steep 2. Multi platform audio interface with dual inputs and outputs. Supports up to 24 bit 192 kHz high resolution audio. Microphone, line in, and high impedance value instrument support. 48 volt phantom power available for condenser microphone. Zero latency direct monitor and DAW monitor can be adjusted individually or mixed. Switchable stereo mono direct monitor provides more possibilities for input signal monitor. Individual adjustment of monitor volume level and headphone output volume level. MIDI in, MIDI out. That's the steep two only, folks. Guys, y'all. Can be powered by via USB port or USB power supply. Once again, this is the Neat Mike's Worker B2 into the Moore Steep 2. It's a combination of sequels. This is the AKG P170. Reading the features of the Moore Steep 2 audio interface. Multi-platform audio interface with dual inputs and outputs. Supports up to 24-bit 192Hz high-resolution audio. Microphone, line-in, and high-impedance value instrument support. 48-volt phantom power available for condenser microphone. Zero latency direct monitor and DAW monitor can be adjusted individually or mixed. Switchable stereo slash mono direct monitor provides more possibilities for input signal monitor. Individual adjustment of monitor volume level and headphone output volume level. MIDI in, MIDI out. Steep 2 only, folks. Can be powered by via USB port or USB power supply. Those are the words there. The AKG P170. 20 decibel pad is off, windscreen is on. And now we have the Audix F15. Reading the features of the Moore Steep 2 audio interface. Features. Multi-platform audio interface with dual inputs and outputs. Supports up to 24-bit, 192 kHz high resolution audio. Microphone, line in, and high impedance value instrument support. 48 volt phantom power available for condenser microphone. Zero latency direct monitor and DAW monitor can be adjusted individually or mixed. 
Switchable Stereo Mono Direct Monitor provides more possibilities for input signal monitor. Individual adjustment of monitor volume level and headphone output volume level. MIDI in, MIDI out. Steep 2 only. Can be powered by, by via USB port or USB power supply. This again is the Audix F15 small diaphragm condenser microphone. And now we have the Shure SM57. I've raised the gain to about 430 on the Moor Steep 2. And I will now be reading the features of the Moor Steep 2 audio interface. Features. Multi-platform audio interface with dual inputs and outputs. Supports up to 24-bit 192 kHz high resolution audio. Microphone, line in, and high impedance value instrument support. 48 volt phantom power available for condenser microphone. Zero latency direct monitor and DAW monitor can be adjusted individually or mixed. Switchable stereo mono direct monitor provides more possibilities for input signal monitor. Individual adjustment of monitor volume level and headphone output volume level. MIDI in, MIDI out. MIDI in, MIDI out. Steep 2 only. Can be powered by via USB port or USB power supply. This again is the Shure SM57 dynamic instrument microphone with the A2WS windscreen. Well, there we go. That wraps up my current collection of microphones. Um, leave a uh, leave a comment. Let me know which one you think sounds the best. Then you know maybe maybe the one I should use on the channel for a while. Your input matters. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm your Jake of All Trades. I, I hope you have found this information somewhat helpful. I want to be helpful. Anyway, see you next time.